We have looked at series connection of uh, two terminal elements where the same current flows through all the elements and the total voltage across the combination is the sum of voltages. We will now look at uh, parallel connection of two terminal elements which can be thought of as the counterpart of a series connection with the roles of voltage and current interchanged. Okay. When you have a number of uh, two terminal elements, parallel connection implies that you connect one terminal of all the elements together and another terminal of the all the elements also together to a different node and these two nodes form the terminals of the effective parallel combination. Okay. So, you can put any number of these in parallel. Now, what does this do? You can look at the voltages across these elements okay. and if you form a loop here involving the first two elements, you will easily see that V 1 equals V 2 and these two elements V 2 equals V 3 and so on. That is because they are connected between the same two terminals. Okay. So, a parallel combination has the property that the voltage across all the elements is exactly the same and let me call this current I 1, this one I 2 and this one I 3 and clearly you see that the total current this voltage is V, the total current flowing into the parallel combination is I 1 plus I 2 plus I 3. Okay. So, now, you can see that this is the exact counterpart of the series combination. Here, the voltage across all the elements is exactly the same and the current of the parallel combination is the sum of individual element currents. Okay. So, with this we can quickly go through all the elements again and see what their parallel combination behaves like. Okay. So, again the reason to do this is Again, the reason to do this, though these are uh, rather elementary, is to gain some confidence that you can reason out everything from first principles. Okay. Let me first look at. voltage sources in parallel. So, I have two ideal voltage sources V 1 and V 2. I connect them in parallel. Now, I form a loop and apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. It tells me that V 1 has to be equal to V 2. So, what this really means is that this connection is not permitted if V 1 and V 2 are different from each other. Okay. And if V 1 happens to be equal to V 2, the whole thing equals a single voltage source of value V 1. Okay. So, just like a series connection of current sources is not permitted in general, parallel connection of voltage sources is not permitted in general. Okay. So, it will be permitted only if the two voltage sources are identical and in that case the result is trivial, the result is also the same voltage source. Okay. Now, one thing I have to caution here is that do not get confused between this and connecting two batteries in parallel. Right. You can always say, hey, I can buy two batteries 1.5 volts and 9 volts and connect them in parallel using two wires. What is stopping me? What do you mean by it is not permitted? Okay. Now, here we are talking about ideal voltage sources. Right. If you do have ideal voltage sources, this connection is not permitted. Now, the thing with batteries is that it is uh, an approximate 
voltage source. It is not an ideal voltage source, it has some resistance in series. So, those things can be connected in uh, uh, parallel with each other. What happens is that uh, large current will flow and then that will uh, reduce the life of the batteries. Okay. But when it comes to ideal voltage sources, connecting them like this will violate Kirchhoff's voltage law and consequently is not permitted. Okay. Now, we look at current sources in uh, parallel. So, let us say we have these two terminals and I have a number of uh, current sources I 1, I 2, I 3 and so on okay all the way to let's say i n we have n current sources in parallel so the same voltage appears across all of them but that's not relevant because the voltage across a current source has no influence on the current through it and trivial application of kirchhoff's current law shows that the current flowing here is i1 plus i2 plus i3 all the way to i n so, a parallel uh, connection of uh, current sources is equivalent to a single current source I x whose value is the sum of individual current sources. Okay. So, this is the counterpart of voltage sources in series. Okay. Now, I consider resistors in parallel. So, again we have two terminals across which let us say we have a voltage V and we have a number of uh, resistors R 1, R 2 all the way to R n. Okay. Now, the current through each of them is given by Ohm's law and for this particular case, it is more convenient to use the conductance form. I will write this current as G 1 times V, where G 1 is the conductance, this current as G 2 times V and so on and finally, this is G n times V and the current here is obviously the sum of all of these which is G 1 plus G 2 all the way to G n times V. Okay. So, this is the current I is some uh, number times the voltage. So, you see that this is the same relationship that would exist in a single resistor. Okay. This proportionality would be the conductance of that single resistor. So, because of this proportional relationship between I and V, we know that a parallel combination of resistors also behaves exactly like a resistor whose effective conductance is given by G 1 plus G 2 all the way to G n. Okay. So, if I call this terminals n 1 and n 2, between n 1 and n 2 it looks like a resistor and you can calculate the conductance like this. If you prefer to use the resistance form, the reciprocal of the effective resistance is given by the sum of reciprocals of individual resistances. Okay. This is the form that is probably familiar to all of you, but uh, many times it is easier to use conductance in analysis than resistance. Okay. Now, we consider capacitors in parallel. Okay. So, we have two terminals across which we have a voltage V and we have C 1, C 2 all the way to C n. 
okay and we can write the expressions for the currents in individual capacitors we know that the current through capacitor c1 in that direction is c1 time derivative of v current through capacitor c2 in that direction is c2 times time derivative of v i didn't say this explicitly but i think by now you are used to the idea that when you have parallel connection of capacitors the voltage across all of them is the same and is equal to v and finally the current through this is cn times time derivative of v so the total current coming out of here is the sum of all of these things which is simply the sum of capacitors times the time derivative of v and again you see that the relationship between the voltage here and the current there looks exactly like that of a capacitor okay that is if we had some uh, capacitor c effective and a voltage v across it the current through it would be c effective time derivative of v and you see that these two are in the same form so clearly it says that the effective value of capacitance is c1 plus c2 plus c3 and so on okay so a parallel combination of capacitors acts like a single capacitor whose value is the sum of individual capacitors now we consider a number of uh, inductors in parallel l1 l2 ln and all of them have the same voltage v across them and i'll mark the current i1 i2 in now we know from uh, previous discussions that the current i1 at a time t equals 1 over l1 integral 0 to t of the voltage across the inductor okay and this is assuming zero initial condition for the inductor current okay so the total current which is i1 plus i2 plus in equals 1 over l1 plus 1 over l2 all the way to 1 by ln integral of 0 to t v of t dt okay so now we see that this is exactly the same relationship we would have had if we had an inductor whose value equals l effective then the voltage and the current would be related by i equals 1 over l effective integral of v over time so clearly this reciprocal of effective inductance equals the sum of uh, reciprocals of individual inductances okay 1 over l effective equals 1 over l1 plus 1 over l2 plus 1 over ln okay and this is similar to having resistors in parallel if you write out the expressions in terms of resistors we saw that we got a similar form okay